Welcome Taurus and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always time stamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid so for you this can resonate as a past, present, or a future situation. Alright, that's all we need from here. And anything additionally please about the situation. What is going on for the collective Taurus? Wow, okay, that was simple enough. So you're obsessing over a true love. You cannot stop thinking about this person, about the situation between the two of you. You know, really seeking some kind of truth or answer. Surrender obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help you bring clarity or even solve the problem. And we do have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So the feelings you're questioning here, the situation, they're saying that the feelings are definitely true here, that you know, it's mutual between the two of you, but for whatever reason, you know, this is really weighing heavy in your thoughts. So let us see. What is the energy here, please? For the collective Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun. Your energy could be a Capricorn you're thinking of. You may have strong Capricorn in your, in your chart. Now, I mean, first of all, though, when we see the devil here, um, I mean, it can say obsessive thoughts. You know, you cannot stop thinking about them. They weigh, they weigh heavy on your mind. So what's going on with your person? The death card, Scorpio energy. What's between you? The obstacle, the challenge, temperance. Ooh, look at that all major arcana Ooh, the empress uh taurus libra their thoughts about you oh y'all saw me shuffle this deck y listen you saw look look at this six uh, six cards on the table every one of them is major arcana <gasps> i shit you not listen oh my god this has, listen, I've been doing readings for a very, very, very long time, okay? Um, this has never happened before. What the? I don't want to curse, but literally I just want to start like, <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh. Seven of Swords, however, is, I mean, eight cards on the table. Every single card is Major Arcana. Under the deck is seven of swords. There is some type of deception or lie, something secretive here. Okay, maybe this person's married. They didn't tell you that? You found out on your own? Problem is that you already fell in love with this person, but they held some kind of secret from you. Now some of you, this could, this could be, you could be in separation for some of you. And maybe you're watching this person. They're watching you online. They were overindulgent. They wanted to have their cake and eat it too. Something like that. The hair font. That's Taurus. That's your energy. But so it could be it could be married. Um, let's see what's going on here. I I need to I need to know more. We need to we need to know. Listen, I don't think this is this has never happened to me before. I mean, I've had a lot of major arcana, and you guys know. Like I will point it out. Like wow, there's really big energy here. This is intense okay what is happening here for the collective i need to know what's going on okay okay someone's obsessing over you looking at your photos missing you nostalgia making new memories like i said they're watching you they're obsessing over you they don't want you to know that they're spying on you uh checking you up online can't stop thinking about you for some of you it definitely could have been that maybe they were in a relationship or something and was pursuing you you found out about it things had to end keys on a ring many options decision unconventional stringing along or a one night stand and i honestly here's what i honestly feel i honestly feel like for some of you this person really didn't think that it was going to really mean anything to them however they can't stop thinking about you and that's never happened to them before they've connected with you 
paradise here. It says happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, and enjoying each other. I think you left a mark on this person and they can't get over you. The Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. I, I think some of you put a halt to this person. You were like, no, I can't do this. I can't do this. You know, you were dishonest for about X, Y, or Z, whatever the case was. I, I don't know. If I can't trust you now. You know, but the problem is you can't forget about them. They can't move on from you either. And you can't stop thinking about each other. This, this is a huge energy. This is definitely like a past life soulmate. Maybe you have like a soul contract with this person. For some of you, you may even view it as like a twin flame situation. Listen, <laughs> I have never seen anything like this. Um, the devil here. Now you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Let me just do the signs real quick. We have Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Libra Taurus. Could be any sign, but that's very prominent here. Um, you don't trust this person. You think that they were out for themselves or that they were struggling with some kind of addiction, but you can't stop thinking about them. Um, and then their energy with the death card, you know, it's possible that maybe they have already ended something in their, in their situation. And maybe they've ended this in hopes that they can return to you and smooth things over and try again to rekindle it. Because they knew that you would not hear them out if they returned and said the same old, same old. I'm still struggling with this addiction. I'm still dealing with this karmic partner. I'm still dealing with X, Y, and Z. You know, they, it's possible for somebody they may have already ended something because the candle is blown out here. The death card does talk about endings, endings that bring forth new beginnings. It talks about transformation. It talks about major change. Um, they want to reignite the flame with you. They want to start this up again. Between the two of you is distance, however. Now, it can be here that you are watching each other intently online. Uh, and, and both of you are kind of like trying to sneak around and not let the other one know about it. But you can't stop thinking about each other. There could be distance here, whether it's states away, countries away, the world. Now, the obstacle here when we see temperance is about patience, healing, recovery. You know, can you come back together? Can you work it out? You know, can the obstacles, has something changed? Is, is it going to be more balanced this time around? They haven't let you go. I am seeing self-indulgent under here. It says, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So for some of you, you're kind of just focusing on you, doing your own thing, trying to stay busy, trying to stay motivated. For some of them, it could have been that maybe they were overindulging in things that they shouldn't have been. You can't stop thinking about them. They can't stop thinking about you. And the reason for that is because there's a very strong spiritual connection between you and this person. Um, let's, let's do this thing. So their thoughts about you, we have the Empress. Now they could see you as, you know, this is Taurus energy. Um, but you, you could be a mother, you could be a wife. Um, they could see you as their divine feminine. But it's like they see you with all the qualities that they want in a partner. We have the Empress here. Now, I actually specifically really wanted the Wonderland um, in tarot deck. Some of you, I don't know, Alice really stands out. So Allison, Allie, Alice. So I mean, that could be relevant. Al. I have like A-L-I, something like that. What are their thoughts about you? What are they thinking? Um, they feel like maybe their apology isn't going to be good enough. But they do want to apologize. They do want to express how they feel to you. That I kind of see this person like rehearsing it in their head. Like they're standing in front of the mirror and they're like, okay, um... So, listen, this is what happened. This is how, No, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. And they're like, <clears throat> clearing their throat. <clears> throat> Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write it out. And they're erasing it. They're writing it out. They're erasing it. Then they kind of like practice like making a phone call. They're talking to you. I'm, I'm seeing like this person like taking a shower. And they're like having full on conversations with you in the shower. Like rehearsing it over and over in their mind. Looking in the mirror. Rehearsing it. Thinking about what they're going to say to you. Beginning to write to you. Stopping it. Wanting to apologize. Wanting to express how they feel to you. Thinking of you as you know. It's apologetic. They want to make amends for their past behavior. But they feel like. I mean this is a page approaching an impress. That could be an age difference here. They may feel like maybe you don't want to hear from them. They don't have enough to offer. 
their feelings with the Wheel of Fortune. They feel that this connection is destined, that you are supposed to be together. And for some of you, this could even be this person awakening to some kind of spiritual significance here. Because the star here does talk about Twin Flame Reunion. And the sun does talk about like Revelation, you know, seeing something very clear, epiphanies, right? They feel that you are their destiny. But we have like a run or chaser type situation here. So it may be that the roles are reversed. Maybe in the past you were pursuing them. Now they're pursuing you. What do they feel? Oh my gosh. Virgo energy here. They feel... They're, they're like now they have this opportunity to kind of reflect on the past and realize the spiritual significance of your connection, what it is and what it meant to you, what it meant to them, you know, and what they really want here. So they see it for what it is. This is a destined connection. Maybe they were too proud to admit that in the past. Whatever faults they may have had, whatever obstacles were there. Like I said, Leo energy here with the sun. Their intention here is to bring clarity information you know to have a deep conversation because the sun is the happiest card in the deck but this can also talk about somebody who is speaking up somebody who is coming clean expressing how they feel expressing what they want yeah making an offer to you some of you i don't know why some of you this could be like one person, all right? I'm getting like somebody may have actually separated or stopped talking because they did not want to have children, and that may not be the case anymore for some of you, okay? Because um, I am seeing this person like come in with an offer. With a star, again, this is their actions. This is about trying to heal a situation. This is, you know, your dream, your wish, your hope, your prayer. This is about reunion. Two people who are destined to cross paths coming together. Because they desire you. Like, but some of you, you may have been like a mistress. Look at that. We have the emperor here. Um, could be an Aries. Look at this major arcana. I just can't get over it. I can't get over it. They may have been, there may have been secrets. Maybe they were married. They didn't tell you that. Maybe you were the other woman or the other man or something like that. And that's where things kind of got complicated. They still desire you. They don't want to give you up. Situation is, this is just, this is just, I can't get, I can't get over it. It's like blowing my mind. The energy is too big. It's too intense. You know, this is, I, I've never, I've never seen it, something like this before. If this is your story, please let me know in the comments. Um, I just, this person's, they want to heal it. I'm going to start crying. Like, I'm getting super emotional. They cannot get over you. They can't let you go. They can't stop thinking about you. It's obsessive. It's not just one-sided on yours. It's both of you. They want to reignite this flame with you. And they're praying, hoping, clinging to their faith here that you're going to hear them out. Because they did deceive you. They did hurt you in the past. The problem is... They can't get over you. And they may have assumed from the beginning that they would, but you're different. They, they, they just know. They just, like they're awakening. I'll tell you more. Anything additional? Like, oh my gosh, okay. So here, let's find out about this going on here. We have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember that love is the greatest healer. So in this reconnection, it can be kind of light and flirtatious and playful. And you're both just kind of enjoying it. Because again, we did see that here when it said happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, and enjoying each other. It can just feel like everything's falling right back into place. You were picking up right where you left off. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. They're saying to be patient here because this person is coming around. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. So, I mean, it could be that maybe in the past, you were really obsessing and thinking about, you know, the obstacle, but it seemed like whatever it was, it was something that this person only had power to change. I mean, if they were married or if they were struggling with addiction, if they were doing this, that, and the other, it was only up to them. You couldn't do that healing for them. You can, you're only accountable for yourself, you know? And then here it says, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Again, this gives me like really strong twin flame vibes. So it definitely can be that for some of you, this is your divine counterpart. This is your, this is your other half. For those of you who resonate with that, you know, I just, you're going to be hearing from this person. Again, it's ultimately up to you. You have free will. You choose, you decide. Nobody can make decisions for you, but this person is trying to reconcile with you incredible that's what i have for you thank you guys so much for watching thank you for liking sharing subscribing thank you for those of you who have sent in donations it is truly appreciated as always i wish you strength and i wish you many blessings bye bye